guys, I'm back with another uh, Hardcore World episode. Uh, pick up right where we left off. I haven't done anything else yet. As you can see, I still have all the uh, the funky holes in my house where I was trying to deal with the four horsemen. So I'm going to go ahead and just hop back into this and get started. Um, which one of these? I need to get my birch tree cut down. I really should make an axe for this because it would be a little bit easier, but you know, fuck it, right? I hope I can cut it all down. Okay. Nope, nope, not quite. There will. I'll just power up a little bit. No, see, I think if I leave it like this normally, the mycelium would hop up a block and mess that up. There's oak saplings. I need. I hope that drops another birch one, otherwise I'm going to be in a little bit of a bad situation, because that's the last of my birch wood. I mean, I guess I don't need much. I just need to fill in my house, but I do want to do more beyond that, so I guess we'll just figure out what happens. Now, I'm not really sure where to go with this world right now. Um, I mean, I'm on a mushroom island. I'm not in immediate danger. But I also can't establish crops and stuff here. Right now I have to rely solely on the mushrooms. And as y'all saw in the last video, if uh, you get surprise, uh, what do you call them? Uh, skeletons spawning in with lightning strikes, then you're kind of out of luck. <laughs> Who would have known, right? So, uh, wooden pick, iron pick. I think I'm going to save the iron pick for now, because I might want to wait till I get to a different island. It might be a better idea. And I, I turned the Minecraft volume up a little bit, because I realized you really couldn't hear much. So, you know, I think it's a little more entertaining to watch someone who actually has volume on their game. I don't know if, uh, if everyone's like that, but I like that. And I decided I just needed to have the volume up a little higher. Um, I still haven't come up with objectives yet, and one thing I want to do for sure at some point is establish a village, and that will be, of course, after I, uh, clear that ocean monument and get some gold, so I can make golden apples and cure villagers, or villager zombies, that way I can, um, uh, start making my own village. I'll just have to, you know, enslave the villagers until I, uh, get enough of them. <laughs> it's kind of cruel, but, you know, it works. For some reason. Alright. Um. I feel like I want to start bridging my way to that first island I came across. Where I got the trees. Because I do need a place to start crops. And that seems reasonable for a place to start. I'm just going to go ahead and Oh, okay. I didn't get to finish my sentence. I was going to break the pickaxe, but the game was ahead of me. Okay. Um, if I ever get a saddle, I'm going to tame one of these horses. I can't even make a lead right now because uh, I need slime blocks for that. We're well, not slime blocks, but slime. And unfortunately, I haven't seen slimes because, well... Not the easiest things to come across on a mushroom island. Alright. Uh, oh, I do have an axe. Herp. I feel stupid now. I'm gonna kill some more mushrooms. I'm gonna see if I can make my way to wherever I came from. I don't remember where I... it was. Let me... Video settings. I'm gonna go up to 20 chunks here. So I can see where the closest island is. I hope there's one close. Oh, I didn't make a flint and steel. Oh well. Nine. Uh, is that 14? It's two, okay. I can't really read that up quite that well on the leather texture. 
Well, there's an island with some trees. Get back here, mo fucking cows. <laughs> this one doesn't want to die. Of course, I can't imagine. Many creatures want to die. You know. So, which was the ocean monument? Because I know there were two. I think there was one within viewing distance of the island. And I'm sorry if you keep hearing an echo. I kind of pick my mouse up sometimes and it hits the table and then yeah, shake the mic. So, sorry about that. Okay, it's way out there. And that's going to be a long time before I actually go out that way. So, let's see. I guess I'm just going to make my way to that island over there. Because... I don't think there's anything else really to go to at this point. I hope those skeleton horses don't despawn because those things have a hell of a lot of health. And I did not get a fucking sapling. You're kidding me, right? Okay, I, I gotta fix this. Hang on. It's gotta give me a sapling, right? I think these are still birch uh, leaves. Well, fuck me. I didn't even get any birch saplings out of that. Well, alright then. I guess I'm just gonna really quick try to fill in this house a little bit more. Not getting very far. Um. Of course, I guess I started on the inside over there, and I'm starting on the outside over here. It's kind of counterproductive. Alright, so I'm going to have to tower or bridge my way over with dirt. And I'm not really worried about making things look all pretty right now, because... I mean, I'm in hardcore. It's not that essential for me to pretty things up. At least not, you know... What an hour or something like that into the game, so I'm not worried about it right now. At some point, I plan to, you know, pretty things up. Because when I play a hardcore world, I typically try really hard to survive. But in the past, I have not actually gone very far. Like I've never actually gone to the end in a hardcore world. I think of one of mine, I went to the Nether. <clears throat> Only one. And I've made a few, which I still have them. I just I haven't died. I just kind of stopped playing them for some reason. I think I had mods on with some of them, not to take away from the hardcore experience, but it's because I had mods while I had the hardcore world. And there's another monument right there. Uh, shit. I don't know if that's the second one or if that's actually a third one. I don't even know if I should be concerned about that yet. Because I have no idea if I'm going towards it. The only valuable thing I can think of right now from there would be gold. Because each one should have a gold block. Or a box of gold blocks. Other than that, I think the only thing I could use would be sponges. Which isn't even guaranteed. Although, on behalf of the fact that I have two or three monuments within my, you know, within swimming dif distance of the island, I'm fairly confident that, uh, I could find, uh, lost my train of thought. Sponges. There we go. Alright, and again, uh, I think I said in my last video, the stronghold's like right underneath the island in the seed. So, that's no problem. But I have no plans to go to the end anytime soon. Or even go down there to explore yet. Because I don't know if uh, normal mobs will spawn. I know uh, silverfish should spawn anyways because they're just spawners in the, uh, the dungeon. But everything else I'm not sure about. 
I'm gonna break this in a little bit because I don't have any more cobble. I saw another island out in the distance there. At some point I'll get to that. Okay, bat, get out of the way. Yeah, I'm... What the fuck? Ugh, I hate gravel. Now, I'm really not sure how I want to go about the monuments in Hardcore. It takes a lot of potion crafting to work with those. And, uh... It's just a lot of time to spend doing that. So, I'm just not sure how I'm going to go about that yet. It's probably going to be a while. I'm sure it'll make for an interesting video. Hardcore Ocean Monument Challenge. <laughs> I probably won't go through there until I have, you know, at least some diamond gear. Although, if I can get to the end and through the end, those end cities have, like, crazy loot. If any of y'all watched the other uh, survival video I did of the Ender Dragon fight, then, like, I got some ridiculous loot out of that. Now Minecraft's in 1.9.2, which they uh, buffed up the diamond armor again to make it, you know, back to the way it used to be, basically. It's really good armor. And, uh, is it granite? Andesite? Granite? Okay. And, um, it's really good now. <laughs> so that'll be a good place to eventually get to. But the dragon's going to be a bitch to fight. Uh, I think the tactic I'm actually going to use to fight the dragon, if I get to it, I don't want to get ahead of myself, would probably be to just uh, spam bids at it. Because if you uh, right-click a bid in the end, or the nether for that matter, uh, it just blows the bid up. Because Mojang does not intend for you to sleep in the nether or the end. So instead, they just try to kill you if you try to sleep. And uh, you don't actually try to hop in the bed, it just kind of blows up. Which is why you can use it as a weapon to fight the dragon. Or, suppose any other mob in general. I don't know how well that will work against Endermen. Because I know uh, they dodge projectiles, but I don't know about explosions. I haven't exactly tried. You know, I may actually be towering down to the uh, stronghold. I don't know. How much iron did I just get? Oh, I have nine. What am I worried about? I can make another iron pick. And I have plenty of cobble. I can finish the house up when I get back to the surface. Just don't know. Let me check my coordinates right now. Uh, 31. Yeah, I'm pretty low down. Let's just start digging this way. I might actually find the stronghold. Who knows? Because I should be far below where I need to be to actually find it. Or at least something down here. I don't know if there was a, uh, big cave system down here or not. I'd like to find something down here, you know. You know, make something worthwhile for, you know, digging through all this. On well, what, two stacks of cobble? Yeah. What is this? Oh, andesite. You know, I can't even tell what I'm mining in this texture pack. It's a slightly different colors. Oh! Okay. There's my ravine. I didn't even know I had one, but... Good to know. Big X is going to break before I get down there. I called it. Alright, um. Let's see. Damn it. Okay. Waiting for the, uh, skeleton to spawn in the mushroom biome and. Knock me to my death. I heard a bat die. Probably flew into the lava. Um, I want to explore, so I'm gonna 
carefully, of course, and then way down here. I don't know what's down here. I didn't explore the sea too much when I was uh, testing for a seed. Kind of just said I was going to wing it and just went for the one with the stronghold and that was all I wanted. What is that? Is that mossy stone or? I don't know. I don't have a pickaxe either. No, that's gold. Okay, yeah. Couldn't remember what the textures were. The hardest part about getting used to a texture pack. It's like, what is that block? I don't, I don't know. And I'm going to be moving slow through here. Because I don't trust myself in this game too much. <laughs> I can do this a little bit, but... I have a long drop into lava. There's no possible way I can survive that. I mean, I might be able to, but I don't feel confident trying that. Alright, well, I'm going to go back up and smelt some iron and finish up the house where that cooks, smelts, whatever. Let's see where that goes. I guess I could do some ravine exploring. Of course, I did say I was going to bridge the island. Like, I have uh, a little bit of wood. Not a lot. But enough, you know. Could patch that up. Now, I want the house to look decent. <clears throat> Not too fancy, but I want it to look nice. So, that's why I'm kind of building outwards a little bit. I think it looks cool and, you know, it'll be a good touch. Alright, so cook eight of that. Put this one back. I guess. Do I want to build up one more? You know what? Do this. Alright. What a. Oh. Okay, so. What I could do. Is the inside. Be all. Stairs. Now I have the problem of my tree running in to where I want to build. But that's not too big of a problem. Crafting table, can I reach it from here? Yes, okay. Where's... Okay. Fuck it, I'm just gonna... Okay, that works. So... I haven't... I think I can visualize what I'm trying to do here. But not really, and that's... I just fucked myself over. <laughs> Had to make my pickaxe now. Because I did not... I forgot to uh, get rid of those two cobblestone blocks there. Alright. So let's get rid of that. And let's fix this. I guess I'll meet them around the corners. Yeah. I think that'll work. And it'll look all right, I guess. And I may end up changing the blocks around the edge to match this. I think it might look nice. Let's see. See, the, <laughs> I'm used to my world where I can just fly up. And that's the main reason I use uh, cheats in my main world. Just so I can go up and see what I'm building from above. I think that's immensely helpful. But, you know, I don't want it on for this because it's supposed to be hardcore. Hmm, okay. I guess I can do something like that. <clears throat> I 
could do like a stone slant, but eh, nah, I don't feel like it. What I do feel like doing is bridging. So I'm gonna go ahead and bridge my way to the island. It should also get me some bones, cause mobs should spawn on that <clears throat> should spawn on that island. <clears throat> 